In this short demonstration, we'll log into the Valida application to enable the clinical system integration to work between Footfall and System 1. Then we'll export a patient episode from the Footfall dashboard into System 1. The first thing you need to do for the integration to work is to open and log into the Valida client, which will be installed onto your desktop as a shortcut, which will look like this. When it launches, you'll be asked to enter a username and password, which will be provided when your practice is ready to go live with the integration. Once you're logged into Valida, you will see a window with a menu that looks like this. You don't need to do anything else with this for now. Make sure System 1 is open, along with your dashboard, which you can access in the usual way. So let's have a look at how you can export a patient episode from the dashboard into the clinical system. Here we have a patient who has submitted a UTI form. In order for the dashboard to be able to connect with System 1 and for the clinical system integration to work, it's important that the patient has been verified against PDS and that their NHS number is present. In this case, we can see the patient has been verified, but if this is not the case, this can be manually added by selecting the pencil icon and either typing in or pasting the patient's NHS number. To export this episode into the clinical system, I select System 1 at the top. Here we're given a breakdown of information that will be exported into System 1. This will include any clinical coding relating to the form the patient has submitted and the patient selections and text responses. If the patient has included any images with their form or if there are any internal notes attached to the request, these would show here too. You can select what information you want to be exported into the clinical system by using the toggle buttons. You can also edit the text fields add or remove text that may not be important to the episode. In this case, I might remove any options that the patient has not selected on the form. This helps to ensure the clinical system is not overloaded with information. Once you're ready to export, select Send to System 1 and you'll see a notification appear at the top. Now, if we open System 1 and go into the patient record, you'll see the episode has been successfully exported to the patient's record. That concludes this short demonstration of the clinical system integration with System 1. Thank you for watching.